Now, according to the Canadian Women's Foundation, close to 40% of girls in grade six say they feel self-confidence. But by the time they're in grade 10, that number plummets to 14%. Trying to navigate self-worth and, co and comparison in a young girl in today's world is difficult, but no girl left behind wants to help with that. The nonprofit is marking its third year hosting workshops that empower young women and girls to be their very best selves. Jessica Panetta is one of the event organizers. She's here in studio this morning to tell us about No Girl Left Behind. Welcome. Thank you so much for having me. Good morning. How does No Girl Left Behind give young women the tools that they need to make empowered choices uh, even after the events have wrapped? Yes, well, we are so lucky to have such incredible experts. Mm -hmm. And not only are they inspirational, but they are very well qualified. Mm -hmm. And it's about having these hands-on experiences and ultimately teaching them and being very interactive. And yes, you're going to be listening to all these incredible speakers, but you're also going to be doing things. And as I mentioned at the break, I yeah. used to be a teacher. Yeah. And when I would do lesson plans, it was very important to me to layer, you know, music with math, with literacy to keep that engagement. And that is the goal. And not only are we going to, like I said, listen to these speakers, but we have a dance party, we have swag bags, and then we have incredible resources that, you know, young women and women can take with them after the event is over to keep up on their empowerment journey. I love that, that you're thinking about it, not only for the event space itself, but in the weeks afterwards. Yes. The theme of this year's event is relationship. Mm -hmm. And some key issues that face young people in this dem demographic, girls in particular, is loneliness and trying to find authentic relationships when they're living online. So how are you helping them navigate that? Well, we wanted to focus on relationships because empowerment is so important to women and girls because mm -hmm. that is how families and health and communities are going to thrive. Mm -hmm. And when women are empowered, you know, their mental health issues are going to be lessened and they're going to find their true voice and their true purpose. And a really surprising statistic, and at the same time not so surprising, is one in three girls are more likely or three times more for girls than boys, they're more likely to deal with anxiety mm -hmm. and as well as an eating disorder. Mm -hmm. And as you know, social media isn't helping with that too. Right. So what we strive to do is kind of block out the noise and see your own path. And instead of social media telling you, who you should be, mm -hmm. you're figuring out who you want to be and building on top of that. I love that. Um, what are some of the new challenges that maybe girls in Generation Z are dealing with that maybe millennial young women did not have to deal with? Well, definitely social media yeah. is a huge one. I have three nieces and, you know, they range from ages, you know, nine months to three to 13 years old. Mm -hmm. And I see those struggles and you know, as women, we have this history of comparing ourselves all the time and mm -hmm. kind of social media amplifies that. And sometimes I'll go in the comments and you'll see it's the women bringing down the women that they see in posts. And that comes from, again, a, a source of insecurity or self-worth that this is how I'm supposed to be rather right. than building each other up. And, uh, you know, myself too, as a young 17-year-old girl, when there was no social media, I remember when I saw Britney Spears come on the scene, I was like, that's how I'm supposed to look, not like this. Right. And, you know, that's a real sincere thought that I had. And at the time I thought, now I think it's ridiculous, but at the time you're thinking that's like- the That's the ideal. Your reality. Yeah. Um, what have you heard from girls who've attended in the past? What are some of the key takeaways that seem to stick with them? Well, on our website, nogirlleftbehindevent.com, we have a lot of great testimonials mm -hmm. and I see a lot of moms bringing in their daughters because one of the relationships that we touch upon is the relationship between mother and daughter. Mm. And it's so great to see them come in, feel empowered, tell us that they have a new perspective, that it was life-changing, that they laughed, they cried, they felt all the emotions, but to be in a safe space with other women and young girls. And our age range is from nine years old and up. And what's also really inspiring is a lot of these women and girls, they leave with new friends, mm -hmm. new connections, and, you know, they can, in a way, be a community to, like I said, we have these resources to kind of catch up with each other and be like, did you read about this and continue that journey well after. I love it. Uh, Jessica, thank you for coming in studio. Thank you for having me. We should tell people, No Girl Left Behind happens across the country, but it is happening in Toronto on September the 14th. And you can find tickets if you're interested at No Girl Left Behind event dot com.
Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.